Hey guys, this is Tanya. I teach CBSE class 10 max and my sister Tina Lofus will be teaching CBSE class 8 max. Alright, now let's jump into the video. Today we are going to be learning chapter 4 quadratic equations exercise 4.4 first question. Let's read the question. Find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations. If the real roots exist, find them. Okay, so we have three subdivisions here. So let's try to solve all the subdivisions in this video. Otherwise, we'll just do it in part. Okay, so before getting uh, into that, now let's learn the basic rules. Okay, so first we are supposed to find the discriminant uh, by using this formula that is b square minus 4ac so discriminant means uh, it is represented as d okay capital letter d okay so here we have rules that is if the value so we'll get a value for discriminant so if the value is greatest number compared to zero then we are supposed to say that it is real and distant if they are same then we can write real and same so uh, if it is not if it is smaller if the discriminant is smaller then it is no real roots okay so here we are supposed to find the nature of the roots so these are the natures of the roots if the real roots exist okay so if they exist then we are supposed to find them by using the for formula okay all right so which formula will uh, you'll get to know later okay all right so first let's write the first subdivision okay guys so this is the first subdivision isn't it so now let's write the a value so a value is 2 only the uh, coefficients okay and the b value is minus 3 even the sign is really important and c value is 5 okay so now let's apply in the discriminant formula that is b square minus 4ac okay so is equal to b is minus 3 so minus 3 square minus 4 a is 2 so into 2 and bracket c is 5 okay all right so minus 3 into minus 3 is 9 and then minus so 5 twos are 10 so 10 into 4 is 40 so 40 so when we just um, uh, subtract them now we'll get minus 31 so we got d as minus 31 so since we uh, got it something like this so according to 0 it is smaller isn't it why because we got a negative value so negative means smaller so just because compared to 0 it is smaller we, uh, it doesn't I mean it is no real roots okay so we can write no real roots for this equation okay okay so according to the question if the real roots exist then we can apply the formula and we can apply quadratic formula and we can solve it since it is not existing no uh, we are not going to be solving it by uh, using quadratic formula okay all right so now let's uh, get on to the next question i mean next subdivision thank you guys for watching this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any doubt, you can comment me in the comment section. Catch you in the next video. Bye.